Hey guys, welcome back to FedEx Gaming's Redstone Tutorials. In this tutorial, we're showing guys how to build a silent magic button. Now, if you don't know what a magic button is, it's pretty much just giving off an output even though there is no redstone near it. So if I click this button, that lamp magically comes on even though there is no redstone underneath it or next to it to give off that output. Now, obviously, you don't have to have it hooked up to a lamp. You can hook it up to whatever you want. You can hook it up to a jeb door, hook it up to lights, hook it up to anything that can possibly use a button. So the main thing I wanted to make with my silent, uh, there has been other silent magic buttons in the past. But the main reason why I wanted to make one is because one they usually always have way too many resources going into them Now this is my silent magic button as you can see it is only a five by two spacing and literally uses barely any resources Whatsoever, and that's the main thing I was focusing on here is the amount of resources going into this thing All right guys so for this build we're going to need a two by five spacing We're also gonna have to have enough room to dig down two. now the resources we're gonna need for this is two Droppers not dispensers droppers two redstone comparators, one redstone repeater, three redstone dust, one button. We're also going to need a furnace, some blocks of choice, also more blocks of choice. A white carpet is optional. That's in case you just don't want to see your dropper there. We are also going to need 15 of any blocks you want. I highly recommend just using dirt because everyone usually has an abundance of dirt. So once you've gotten your two by five spacing and you've dug down your two, come to the bottom left-hand corner and count over one and then count up three. One, two, three. And then right here, we're just gonna come up three blocks. One, two, three, like that. Delete these two and we're gonna put a dropper facing downwards off this block first, like that. And then we can go ahead and put one more block up right here and delete this block and this is where our button's going to be going. Now, if you want a really good idea of how to use this, you could check out my gravel slash sand door from one of my older things. I used a magic button on that one as well. However, that one wasn't silent. Then once you got your dropper facing downwards, make sure it is facing downwards, guys. We're gonna put another dropper facing upwards into this dropper. Then in the top dropper, we're gonna go ahead and take out one of our items that I told you to take out and just put one dirt block or whatever you're gonna be using inside that dropper. Next one you do is right next to this bottom dropper, we're gonna take out our furnace and put a furnace right here, just like that. Then go inside your furnace and we're gonna go ahead and put the rest of our 14 dirt blocks inside that furnace. Next, what we're gonna do is coming out of this furnace right here, we're gonna put a comparator coming out of the furnace, put a block in front of the comparator, and then put two pieces of redstone dust, one right here and one going back into the comparator. Now we're going to have to have this in a clock motion. So to get this started off in a clock motion, all you have to do is change your comparator to subtraction mode. And as you can see, now it will pulse like this forever. And that is what we want. So now when I click the button, the item inside this top dropper will go down into this bottom dropper. So click your button. And as you can see, the item is no longer in the top dropper. It is now in the bottom dropper. However, we need this item to go back up into the top dropper so we could go ahead and keep using our magic button continuously. Now, if you want this magic button to only have one use and one use only, then you could stop right here. However, if you want to use it multiple times, what you want to do is off this bottom dropper, we're going to put another comparator going this way. Do not put it in subtraction mode. Put a block in front of it a piece of redstone dust to the side and then going into our furnace we're going to put a repeater on one tick delay and as you can see it already shot the item back up top and that's what we want and you are completely done guys when you click this button as you can see it activates and then turns off so that means you can have your uh, output going from here you can have your uh, output going from here your output going from here you can have your output coming out of this furnace right over here it doesn't really matter where you have your output coming out so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to simply just use a lamp like i did before i don't really feel like making a jeb door or something crazy so when i click this button now that lamp comes on then obviously it is completely flush to the floor so you don't have to use carpet or anything like that you could just use normal blocks however if you don't want to see that dropper in the middle underneath your button you can go ahead and put some carpet there or if you're going to have it on the side for a door you can just go ahead and put a block like that and have it for the side of a door like that and have your magic button just like that but there you guys go that is how you build a very simple and silent magic button it doesn't use many resources whatsoever if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a like and subscribe, stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Boop. Peace.